स्मिथ मैग्नी सिंड्रोम इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सेवनटीन पी डिलीशन सिंड्रोम और रिटर्न एज सेवनटीन पी माइनस सिंड्रोम इट इज अ माइक्रो डिलीशन सिंड्रोम इन्वॉल्विंग क्रोमोसोम सेवनटीन पी इलेवन पॉइंट टू इट लीड्स टू लॉस ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ आर ए आई वन जीन दैट इज रेटिनोइ एसिड इंड्यूस्ड वन जीन रेटिनोइक एसिड इंड्यूस्ड वन जीन आर ए आई वन हैज मल्टीपल रोल्स इट प्लेज अ रोल इन सेल सेल इंटरक्शन इट इज ऑल्सो इम्प्लीकेटेड इन ensuring that the person that the child is having a normal circadian rhythm so patients who are having smith magnus syndrome often have problems related to behavioral issues they have problems related to uh, their body clock that is circadian rhythm abnormalities so most cases they occur due to spontaneous mutations and they are not found to be inherited so first of all let us talk about the facial characteristics in these children so what are the facial characteristics so three different people with smith magnus syndrome the photographs have been collected here what are the common important findings that you need to remember again let us begin one by one first of all you will find that they will have arching eyebrows as you can see in these patients they will have arching eyebrows with or without mongoloid slant of eyes books do mention about mongoloid slant of eyes but practically speaking of all the patients i have seen in uh, various literature they all seem to have a normal slant of eyes but books do talk about it so we are talking about it but arching eyebrows is a consistent finding secondly you will find that they may have a flat nasal bridge with prominent distal nasal segment as you can see in these children look at this person he is having a flat nasal bridge but the distal part the the columella and the ala nasi part that is very prominent same is true for this child same is true for this adolescent as well thirdly you will find that they, these patients are found to have a short philtrum their philtrum is so, so short it seems that their upper lip is almost touching the columella so gap between the columella and upper lip is very small and fourth you will find that they will have a thickened upper lip with a characteristic grin so they also have a characteristic abnormal grin along with a thickened upper lip that you will find in these patients so their facial characteristics again are slightly different their the arching well developed arch in these patients is not like what you find in patients of the previous syndrome rubin strint ib in case of rubin strint ib you had this kind of eyebrows which were present here you have a well developed arc forming like this it will have a well developed arc forming like this so this type of a appearance will be feature of smith magnus syndrome although technically all these things are very easy to say but you get a question in paper it is very difficult for you to identify so when you get a case in the exam they will try to make it as uh, you know easy to answer as possible because the features of these syndromes will be overlapping so whenever you get a case of william syndrome they will either mention the word elfin facies or they will you know show the face of elfin face along with they will add the word cocktail personality or supravalvular aortic stenosis simultaneously li likewise when we, they give rubinstein type they will put up the face and they will also put a hand of the thumbs or the great toes being shown in smith magnus syndrome they will put up the face again on the basis of face alone you cannot make the diagnosis because these faces you know even in our day to day life we meet people who have similar faces they may not have any syndrome so they will mention the, a face like this and then they will say it is a micro deletion syndrome or they will add the word the patient is having abnormal circadian rhythm and immediately your mind will then go in the direction of smith magnus syndrome so what are the second set of problems you find in smith magnus syndrome neuro behavioral problems their iq first of all is found to be normal to low so it is a wide variable iq which is seen many of them in fact are indeed found to have a very normal iq so mental retardation is not a characteristic feature of smith magnus second thing the hallmark neurological finding of smith magnus syndrome is abnormal or disturbed circadian rhythm 
their body clock is deranged they will be sleeping during the day and being awake during the night even during their sleep their sleep will have frequent interruptions and so it will be they will always be you know have a sleepy kind of appearance that abnormal circadian rhythm that will also contribute to further behavioral changes the behavior, other behavioral changes which can be seen they include hyperactivity self mutilating behavior some of these patients not all of these will be present in a child but all of these have been described in smith magnus syndrome self mutilating behavior is usually associated with the lish knehan syndrome but they will all these patients with magnus syndrome will also show self mutilating behavior in addition they will have a tendency to to do a characteristic thing, thing which is done by normal people also we call it as lick flick phenomenon lot of people are in the habit that when they turn the pages of the books they don't turn the pages like that they do like this they will wet their fingers and do it then wet their finger and do it some people they count their currency notes like that that is a bad habit to do in many people this is just a normal normal phenomena it's just a habitual thing but in smith magnus syndrome lick flick phenomena is you know a irresistible urge that is found in these individuals so lick flick phenomena will be seen in these patients then they have another abnormal uh, behavior they will have a tendency to show self embracing while talking to normal people in a public area or sometimes when they are doing nothing they will just simply sit and they will start embracing themselves and do start thinking like that i know there are a lot of single people in life who have a tendency to imagine and do self embracing thinking there is somebody but these smith magnus syndrome they are not imagining someone they are simply doing self embrace by themselves so self embracing phenomena again described as smith magnus syndrome and last but not the least despite their iq being on a no normal to slightly lower side they are not frankly uh, mentally retarded in fact mental retardation is rare in smith magnus syndrome there is another very important thing that you find in smith magnus syndrome that these children they have a tendency to notice particular points or fine points about people or their surroundings which normal people cannot like for example uh, there was one case which i had uh, i had attended a conference and there was a case presentation of smith magnus syndrome being discussed where there was a patient there it was a adolescent patient who had been diagnosed by one of the international faculty and he said that this patient of mine had a very particular tendency that he would be able to look at the number plates of all the vehicles passing through and able to calculate them immediately and try to relate to them that whether they are even or odd so see even for us you you have a number like c at 01 az 4503 you will take time to calculate and try to think they will have a look at this and immediately say even number car going odd number not the last digit they will combine the digit it, it was just an example which i so it sounded very funny at that time but if you look at case report you look at case literature they will have a tendency to look into those things which normal people will not like they will have a particular way to look into the eyes they will have a staring attitude also sometimes so that kind of behavioral problems are seen in patients of smith magnus syndrome smith magnus syndrome usually does not have cardiovascular problems they usually do, do not have other congenital malformations so it is a micro deletion syndrome in which neuro behavioral problems are more important than the characteristic facial features so all these phenomena the words which i mentioned they are all potential mcq one liners for your exam